Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Ibla Matic, Matic, Matic. It's the illest blur in the land. Welcome back to Ill Blur. Matic, what's going on? Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing, also returning. Let's get into today's new video. Today's new video is something that I am a little worried about. Uh, the last movie from the Zack Snyder's universe is seems to still be a problem with this movie. Let's talk about it. Movie the uh, movie theater owners are worried about Aquaman: The Lost Kingdom success. Whew. I don't know. Uh, when I think about this, I often wonder: Is Warner Brothers should they have kept this as a tax write off and not released the movie? That is kind of my biggest question to myself, and maybe a question to you guys as well. Um. We know Aquaman 2 is coming out next month, of course. Uh, but it's scary to hear that the theater owners are worried about this movie. So let's talk about some of the things that I do know that may cause this movie to flop. Not saying that it will, but there's a possibility because there are other factors leading to this film's demise. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the multiple reshirt, reshoots, excuse me. Man, I mean, having multiple reshoots for a movie is never a good thing. I mean, I get that they want to make the best superhero movie uh, for it to be the final movie for the DCU, the old DCU. Um, but this is problematic, very problematic, because I want to let people know, just because movies go through reshoots does not mean it is going to save the movie. If the movie is beyond repair, then the movie may in fact flop. Because the thing is, you have to remember, reshoots take time, costly, money, um, and some stuff that they take out these films sometimes does not work when it comes to the final product of the movie. So that is definitely a problem. I'm not anti-reshoots. I just want to let people know I'm not anti-reshoots. Some reshoots are helpful for movies. Some reshoots absolutely not do not save a movie at all. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and I've talked about this before, is screenings where people go see the movie for themselves and get the criticism and feedback for it. Uh, the problem with Aquaman 2 that I'm seeing that is still a reoccurring problem is that they're still getting negative reception. Oh, man, I, I, I don't know. It, it makes you wonder, like, DC, Wonder Brothers, do y'all really still want to put this out next month when they're still getting negative feedback for this movie? I mean, I seen the new trailer. I was impressed with the new trailer, like where the direction was going with the new trailer. Um, This is not good. Th this is not good. No, no positive, negative feedback only. I think some of y'all are just burnt out on superhero movies. I, I, I think that's what it is. And maybe y'all just don't like certain actors too. I gotta be real about it. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's certain actors that make your stomach curl, make you throw up, whatever it is that you don't like. Um, Maybe that's what it is. Now, the next reason, and I'm gonna talk about this now, is dealing with the actor. Amber Heard is still attached to Aquaman 2. I know a lot of us hated to hear this news and, and to see her briefly in the actual trailer. I'm just like, oh, y'all mean to tell me y'all couldn't find nobody else to play uh, Mira. Come on now. Come on. There are other actresses out there that could have replaced her or I should say re they could have recasted her and got a decent actress that people would have been happy to. Ever since the situation with her and Johnny Depp, I think there's the other reason why people don't want to see this movie. Maybe they don't like her as an actress. And I understand that because how she treated Johnny Depp. So uh, that is another problem. The other problem with this movie is I honestly think, and this is just my opinion on it, I think the theater owners want Aquaman 1 success, meaning that Aquaman 1 did a billion dollars in the box office. 
we expect the sequel to do a billion dollars in the box office. So there are very high expectations for this movie uh, because honestly, besides Batman, when it comes to live adaption, Aquaman is the second movie to make a billion dollars. Um, Very interesting. Now, let's talk about the last thing. And I say the best for last, all right? The last thing that is also something that I do see is the competition. Many, there are other movies that are going to come out during the Christmas holiday month of next month for Aquaman 2. And the competition is, is looking pretty darn good. I mean, you got the new Willy Wonka movie coming out. Oh, you got the color purple coming out. The musical movie, all right? The musical. You know, people love musicals. Um, on top of that, you got another Dwayne Johnson movie. Come on, Dwayne Johnson is one of those actors that people are going to go to the edge to see his movie. And then on top of that, to put the icing on the cake, baby, they got this other Illumination movie coming out. So uh, I think the theater owners are worried because maybe these other movies are going to be the best successful movies because maybe people are tired of superhero movies. I mean, this year, honestly, has been the worst year for live adaption DC, even freaking Marvel movies, all right? Like, I mean, the Flash flopped bad. I mean, the only movie from DC that did good this year was Blue Beetle. That was the only, the only movie that did good all right but this is your boy ill blur bad guys you tell me in the comments do you think aquaman 2 despite it having bad screenings and even reshoots will this movie be successful or a flop and my next question for you is that do you think aquaman 2 should be pushed back to january because honestly i think this movie should have waited to january because the other movies that i forgot to mention too some of them are Warner Brother movies. So you competing with your other buddies at Warner Brothers. But it's a blur. Living the word, guys. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, subscribing. Also, fully watching the video, guys. Have a wonderful day, guys. I'm out. <laughs>